Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CDP. I am here on Forest Challenge. This is a new mod map out by ABT Frankie Y. 22 megabytes, that's all. Um, and this is this is a proper forest challenge map. We've, you know, there are a lot of forestry maps out there. A lot of those ones, I always say, it's a pioneer map. It's one of those ones where you kind of start from here and work your way into forest. <laughs> Doesn't get any more like that than this map. Um, we do have a tent, and we do start with on all three game modes: our tractor, front loader, log fork, and a log trailer with crane. You can get rid of those if you want to. All three game modes. New Farmer, Farm Manager, start from scratch. The slot count is 454. I got that down to 426 by getting rid of the machinery. You do start with a chainsaw as well. And this little plot here. So this little plot here, we've got a vehicle store. We've got a little workshop trigger. We've got a sell point, a sort of sell anything sell point, And as I've already said, the sleep trigger. Fence around us. And a gate. That's it. <laughs> the map looks like that. On New Farmer, we start with plot one and plot six. On Farm Management, start from scratch. You don't start with those plots. However, plot one is free. It's zero. So whichever game mode you come onto, you can get you can, you can start with a plot. Otherwise, if you come on here with no money, I mean, obviously on the other two game modes, you would have a lot of money. But that's something I'm going to talk about in a moment. Um, and the, the plots kind of go round in price. That one's 484, 632, 942, 760. Then they get a bit more expensive, just over a million. And then, yeah, just a little bit more over a million for both of those. But are there contracts available? If you catch it at the right time, there are. Because we go back to here, we've got one field just there, small little field. We'll walk across there in a moment. Um, so depending on what time of year it is, I was checking the map out on each different uh, mode and uh, there was a contract available on it. There isn't at the moment, but there can be. So, are there any mods added in by the map maker? Two, actually. The tent and the sail point. That's it. Um, and in the, in the build mode, there's no, there are no trees or plants available, which is... I understand the trees thing, because if, if you're obviously starting out with a lot of trees on the map, that kind of makes sense. But if you clear a load of the land and you want to then put plants and bushes and things down... Yeah, um, but there's, there's no trees or plants available. Um, what else was I going to say? Obviously there's no biogas plant, there's nothing like that. But, strangely, this this really appeals to me. Because I had a few ideas, because automatically you think, oh, well, okay, it's a forestry map, isn't it? It does say in the details that the um, the challenge of this is to cut your way out of the forest to create an area. When well, you've created that area, you then cut your way into the forest to do whatever you want to do after that. I'm thinking of all the stuff that's available from the Platinum expansion, all of the various different stuff that I didn't get a chance to use um, when I did my silver run. Um, a lot of the forestry equipment I didn't get to use, but also I'm thinking you can add yourself extra challenges into this. Um, there is the start from zero mod by Yoss. So if you came onto a farm manager or start from scratch and you've got 1.5 million or you've got 500,000, you can use that mod and you can get yourself down to zero, completely down to zero. If you got rid of those vehicles, you could start with a chainsaw. Or you could get rid of the chainsaw. I know it does exactly the same thing, but if you wanted to go for a bit more kind of immersive, you could get yourself, there's the, the axe mod. There's the lightsabers as well, but you know. Um, you can just start with an axe. So you could literally be you and an axe. Because if you start off with this land around you, you've got enough trees just around you, you could cut down with an axe and you could carry into the cell point and start making a little bit of money as you, as you kind of work your way up. Um, the fence is removable because you're on the land. So if we're going to demolish... We can get rid of the fence if you want to. So if you want to make it a little bit easier for yourself, you can get rid of the fencing. We'll walk across. But what I was thinking was, there's a couple of little tracks that are going to start off. If you really wanted to add in an element of something a little bit different, you could start with an almost a floor is lava approach. You can walk on it, but you can't put any vehicles off of here 
until a certain point, until you've reached a certain amount of money or until you've done something, you can set yourself a, a target. That would give you the option to use the cable yarder. So you can start off by just cutting down trees by hand, bring them over, putting them in. When you've built up enough money to maybe even lease a cable yarder, you can set the cable yarder up in here, string it out to a tree further out, potentially, and then use the cable yarder to go kind of round in a circle. I don't know, it's just an idea. Um, to bring the logs into the middle to then sell at the sell point, or directly over the sell point, just drop them onto the sell point. Then once you've reached a certain point, a certain amount of money, or whatever it is you want it to be, or you've got to, once you've cleared a bit of land like the tracks, you've got to build a path out, and then you can take vehicles out, but only on the path. So then you can use the cable yarder from the path to bring us, I don't know, it's just, just thinking of ways to add, you know, add to that challenge. As far as I can tell, most of the trees are all this um, pine, there's not, a, there are no firs. These can be a little bit awkward sometimes, the sort of, the knobbly nature of them for loading onto trailers. And they're a lot better than they used to be, but they can be um so yeah, if we was out this direction i think it's over here we'll get to the field but like i say i'm already in my head thinking you know it's not too bad sort of undulations on the ground there's a little bit of texture available but the fact there's no plants you couldn't even paint any grass on so you'd have to if you cleared all this it's a bit dry and a bit arid you'd have to You'd have to plough it and plant the grass, which that's the only downside, I, I was, I'm going to say. If we go towards the north, it does sweep up. It's a little bit more hilly up towards the north. And there are some areas that have got a bit of rock texture on them. So you could do that thing as well further out. You could set yourself up before you start a quarry that you've got to work your way towards. You could put rock in it or... I don't know. Again, it's that thing. It's a, it's a blank canvas. You could do whatever you want on it. But you've got to clear it first and if cutting down trees is not your thing there are various different mulches and tree removal devices and there's the devour that does wood chips and you know you could clear a, a big open part of this before you even started so you could have more fields at the start if you wanted to it's inside up to you but the one field you do start with is just here it does say you can find some stones on it i don't know if that's the it means the rock textures i've had a bit of a wonder and i haven't really there's obviously stones in the field. That's why there's no contract available, because it's been ploughed. Um, I have to say, though... Hmm. That's going to put a dent in your header. <laughs> that, that one's just got to go. And that's your field. If you go back to the map... I mean, it's not... It's not a big map either. It's not like you've got, you know, a thousand acres of trees to clear. It's, it's not that big. I mean, there's enough on it to be getting on with. And there are some dead standing every now and again. I did find some more to the north as I went, but there's a, there's a few of these. So again, if you want to use the tree marking sprays, you could start off by going out and marking all the dead standing. Especially if you're playing with friends, then you've got to go out and you've got to clear all the dead standing first. That's more of a treasure hunt than anything else. Actually, I don't think there's any... I better check that. Oh, there are any collectibles? I don't think there are. No, it doesn't say. Uh, so, I don't think there's any collectibles. I keep looking, thinking, oh, can I see stones? There's, no, there's just these rocky textures. Um, and that's the map. 22 megabyte download. 454 slots. That's the Forest Challenge by ABT Frankie Y. Are you up to the challenge? That is the question. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.